Admiral's Log. The long-anticipated confrontation between the United States Navy and the Italian Regia Marina has finally unfolded, leaving its profound impact etched across the Mediterranean theater. In the aftermath of the clash, the waters bear witness to the sinking of two Italian battleships and a number of their heavy cruisers, a stark testament to the intensity of the engagement. On our side, the resilience of our battleships was put to the test as they bore the brunt of the battle. Though the toll of serious damage weighs upon them, we remain steadfast in our commitment to their restoration and return to active duty. This encounter has provided valuable insights into the dynamics of naval warfare and has underscored the necessity of refining our strategies. The pivotal lesson drawn from this encounter is the imperative for effective escorting of our battleships. The Mediterranean foray has highlighted the critical role played by heavy cruisers in safeguarding our capital ships. As we prepare for future operations in these waters, our resolve to enhance our fleet's readiness is unwavering. We shall forge ahead, better equipped and informed, ensuring that each vessel serves as a pillar of strength within the collective might of the United States Navy. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, episode 18. September 1944, we find the Italian fleet again. It's the, let's say, decapitated Italian fleet, because this time around they have to play around without their battleships. We already sunk two in the previous episode. An issue that I had in the previous episode was that I didn't have enough heavy cruisers. This battle group, the one led by battle cruiser, sorry, battleship and flagship, Sovereign, is indeed covered by cruisers. Lots of Scrantons with their 9-inch guns, as well as torpedo launchers. Also present, battlecruisers Nebraska and Illinois, both Sentinel 1942s, with 8 12-inchers. Should be the perfect counterpart to all of these heavy cruisers. Um, it is nothing but heavy cruisers, no lights. But um, you don't need a whole bunch, because this is so much torpedo soup potential, that I'm probably going to have to do a lot of zigzagging in this battle. Alright, here we go. Illinois, as well as the Nebraska, moving forward, shielding the battleship Sovereign with their 12-inch guns. These battlecruisers at 34 knots have a pretty decent chance of keeping up with those fast Italian heavy cruisers. The issue that I might have is their turning circle. They're not very good at turning around. And if you're getting closer to torpedo potentials, um, that could be an issue. When it comes to my heavy cruisers, I want to have these pretty much all in one group. Uh, let's see if I can make that happen without the whole formation falling apart. And that would be nice. Here we go. Alright, I'm recalibrating with the St. Louis, or uh, reacquainting. We got 9-inch guns, 6 of them, ranging out to 19.8 kilometers, 17 for HE. They have the potential to drop torpedoes in the water, both with quadruple launchers as dual launchers. So they can, well, put a fairly fairly modest amount of torpedoes in the water. Especially when you compare that to the massive amount of firepower that the Italians have, torpedo-wise. That was definitely Sovereign's rumbling. Um, considering your ability to rumble things from a distance. What are we looking at? 22 kilometers. You can pen, if you hit the belt, at, let's say, 22 and a half kilometers. You can pen 17 inches of armor. That ought to do it. Sovereign, turn broadside and get ready to fire. Which way are we going to turn broadside? We're going to turn to port. We're going to turn to port. Alright, so the two battle lines of the battle cruisers and the heavy cruisers are going to move to intercept. We're going to have to put the Italian fleet down. Last episode, they took up the gauntlet that I had thrown down in the Mediterranean. This time... They're not going to lose just a few cruisers and some battleships. This time they're going to lose a very sizable portion of their fleet. Uh, we have we have range on them actually with torpedoes. That has potential. Just got to be real careful that nobody else is launching torps such as Sovereign. Because I know that Sovereign has really long ranges as well. 24 kilometers. She pushes the launch button. Well, let's say it could be pretty bad for the heavy cruisers. Heavy cruisers are all forming up. Excellent. Getting some damage in already. 
But they're closing pretty quickly. Look at that, we're in range. That is not good. I'm gonna slow Sovereign down, boosting her accuracy and her ability to dodge torpedoes. Let's just watch Sovereign as she readies the guns. And fires those monstrous 18s. Sure, it's not quite USS Titan. But the Titan isn't ready yet. Beautiful. Will it hit something? 6% <clears throat> chance? I don't know. Is that inbound? That's inbound. Uh, that could be bad for Bridgeport, but I think we can do it. What else? No, Bridgeport. All back emergency. Bonk. Ah, still got hit. Okay. Anything else in the water? These are playing a pretty dangerous game of chicken at 10 kilometers out. We're going to turn around fully. The DDs. Once again, I don't exactly know how to play the DDs. I have them. You know, just general potential for scouting, intercepting transports, convoys. Maybe running ahead of a group. Yeah, that could be useful here. We run ahead as quickly as we can, which is not very quick at all for this particular group. And we get ready to drop our torpedoes. Torpedoes on these ships range 15 kilometers, so that puts me well inside of range. And heavies. St. Louis. Target that. Saratoga, target that. Bridgeport, I'm not sure if you're lead or if you're still in the right position. There. If I did this correctly, everybody has a separate torpedo target. So now we just launch. Yeah, everybody has a separate torpedo target now. Torpedo launchers turning. But they're not quite dropping yet. Go aggressive. Torpedoes away, starboard side. Saratoga, what's the deal? You got range. The ships are not moving away. Rather, they're moving towards you. I got hit by one torp so far. Look at this cluster! Wow! Nebraska, Illinois, come back. Ah, there we go. Spread. Saratoga still awaiting. Bridgeport still awaiting. What's your deal then? South Dakota. Hit that. Memphis. That. Charlotte. Oh, I don't know. Just point it in the general direction and see what happens. This, uh, it's such a cluster. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to hit something one way or another. Sonar type? Sonar 3. So, sonar 2, radar 3. So we should be able to detect incoming torpedoes from these CAs. Which, surprisingly, they haven't used. They definitely have me in range. By several kilometers, but they're not actively using their torpedoes. I wonder why. Focus on the San... Uh, what is that? San Bonaventura. <clears throat> Just make sure you don't hit the Saratoga while you're at it. Because I don't think the Sarah is going to take great pleasure in getting hit by an 18-inch gun. Torpedo is still refusing to function. Boom. Missed him. 5% chance only. I suspect it has to do with the speed of travel of the San Bonaventura. Because this thing is really quick. Oh. Is that out or in? Inbound! DDs, CAs, BB, turn back. 
Boom. 25k. Look at this swarm. Holy shit. Here's more. This is bad. I was flirting with disaster and it might have just arrived. Um, oh, we hit him with a torp. Or three. This is so many torpedoes coming at me. That I'm going to put everybody into auto dodge mode. Which tends to do very well. No, not AI control. Thank you very much. It tends to do very well. Ships tend to do pretty surprisingly good work dodging torpedoes like that. Look at this. Okay, there goes the San Bonaventura. Next is the Madonna. I feel like we've crippled most of the fleet here, but they're all still alive. These two have... It's like they have actually merged. This is a first. I've seen ships collide, but never this bad. That's... Different. That's different. What is that? I mean, I understand it's two heavy cruisers merging together, but... Okay. <clears throat> How are the BCs doing? Oh no, I don't care about the BCs right now. Look at this, everybody is turning tail. My god. Uh, Memphis should be fine. South Dakota, not doing fine, but that second one was a dud. Everybody's trying to follow St. Louis. Sovereign firing her stern guns in anger. Ooh, that torpedo went up. Don't overcorrect. Incoming torpedo potentially gonna hit Charlotte. There's still a spread coming in here, so I cannot exactly turn that way. We're gonna have to turn to port. Oh, hit on Memphis. Oh, Kane. Kane is playing very interesting games. Sigsby. Sigsby, listen to me. Oh, you got so lucky that torpedo changed course. All by itself. There's more coming in. CAs, I think we're mostly fine. Yes, some of you have taken damage, but I believe most of the torpedoes that came out of those two heavy cruisers are gone. So we're going to push back. Sovereign. It's hard to... Oh, that got close to Sovereign. But she's fine. Battle cruisers. Seem to be doing a pretty good job so far. Sonar array on these is sonar too, so we'll get some warning. I hope it's enough. Now, these are pretty easy to detect. Your HE should be sufficient to melt these things. So be sure to fire HE. AP is probably going to just lead to overpens. Uh, I'll try to hit the volcano and see whatever happens to be in the way. And slow down a notch. I want to see what accuracy levels you guys can get up to. And especially against this whole cluster that seems to be not moving at full speed. Yeah, they're 10 knots slower than they could be. This gives me an excellent chance to hit them. Sovereign, focus on the, um, the Governolo. That's your target. There are big HE shells coming in on the volcano. Hitting the Governolo and the Capitani Romani. Is this some sort of cruiser trimaran? <laughs> 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 
Nice sailing there, AI. <laughs> yeah. And that's what you call close quarters formations. Good lord. You guys are playing an interesting game here. Okay, so I've taken damage to three of my cruisers. The DDs were all capable of dodging everything. Although Sigsby seems to have a ground to a halt. And has initiated the use of her bow thruster to turn around on the spot. There goes the Capitani Romani. That was fast though, what hit you? Oh, just a lot. Okay. Governolo, Bari, Volcano. And these are not cheap. 180 million. How cheap are my cruisers? 164. The Scrantons are cheaper than these Italian speedboats. It's probably to do with the way that these things are designed to be so fast. If you want to have a really expensive ship, make it go as quickly as you possibly can. That is not very friendly. Okay, time to mop up. There goes the Volcano. Would have been fun if she had a flash fire, but I'll take it. Now, as a fun little game, once again in the comments, let me know down below how many victory points you think I'm going to... Oof. Get out of this. That was friendly torpedoes. That was unfriendly HE <clears throat> with the 12-inch. How many victory points am I going to get out of this? Because the Italians did do some damage, but they did not actually sink any ships. And if you don't sink a ship, it just doesn't generate as many points. Hold on. Hold on. That torpedo right there, where's that going? Sorry, Salvo. Everybody panic. I mean, dodge. That's outbound. It's a lot of inbound. Cancel panic. Saratoga just launched. Sacralega sinks due to structural. If I pull the St. Louis out of this group. Saratoga becomes the new leader. And if I just have her turn... Gently. And now really hard. There you go. Perfect. Alright, rejoin the St. Louis. And that's how you do it. So their outbounder, the Malfatano, goes down. Wow. This is going to get very interesting. They do leave me with a gap here. So if I'm able to fit my battle cruisers through there, or maybe this one, that's one, and that's two. I should be able to squeeze these things through those gaps in the torpedo walls and keep my ships safe. Where's the Sovereign at? Slugging things from range. Exactly as she should. There is, however, a torpedo problem in her near future. If I keep to this position, I should be fine. Accuracy is looking really healthy. Yeah, you should be fine. I think the battle cruisers need more micromanagement right now. Oh, the wall of skill has already passed. Excellent. But wait, there's more. Is that you? Yeah. <clears throat> that was the Pietro Mica. Launching more torpedoes at me. Because of course. 
Pietro, however, seems to have more water on the inside of the ship than on the outside than is healthy for her. And goes down. Split and flank. CA's status. You're pushing the enemy fleet still. Excellent. The Governolo has no torpedoes left, and now she has no ship left. Uh, what about the Capitana? Capitana has launched a while ago. Is this the port launch or the starboard one? Shit. That was an underwater launch. Art starboard. Torpedo launcher on the Temperanza getting destroyed. Sovereign should be in the clear. Increase the standard. Temperanza is down. That leaves them with, what, the Capitana and the Palinuro. I think that's all of it. Most damage done. Ooh. What got you? Was that a torpedo? No. That was a 7-inch hit. From the Capitana. Interesting. That looks like such a big explosion. Anyway, damage done. Uh, most by the 12-inchers. As predicted. Also, 20 torpedoes for about 70,000 points. But I think most of them were not mine. I think most of those were inflicted by their own ships. It's them that did the damage, not me. Palinuro badly burning. Yeah, this is going to cost them so many victory points. How much did the 8s or the 9s do? The 9s did 92,000 damage. That's more than the 18-inch guns. Of course, I did have a lot more 9-inch guns than I did have 18s. So that explains it. Just that when the 18-inch actually hits, it's pretty devastating. Okay. I will have a pretty serious repair bill for all of these ships, that's for sure. Come on. <clears throat> By my estimate, this is the last one. Done. Yep, done. Is the Italian Navy thus also done? Because I don't think that that's true. They'll likely come at me again. Look at this. 22,000? Versus 52 for some damaged heavy cruisers. Yikes. That's a lot of victory points in one battle. A lot. And of course, the Italians don't quite seem to think that they're going to win this. Um, I'm going to agree to a peace treaty. Of course, that'll not immediately come into effect. And there are more battles around. Uh, remember those Voyager class heavy cruisers that I sent out to assist my own fleet? Well, they're here. They're just going to have to take on a lot of the Italian Navy. Um, between the two of them. Let's withdraw. I can't. Well, this is going to be a trial by fire. I have 14 5-inch guns, 4 torpedo launchers, and 6 10-inch guns. A speed of 33 knots. <sighs> two against many. <clears throat> two against many. I'm not sure when Quincy and Rochester took damage, because they have not been in conflict. Now, they're very sleek, heavy cruisers. Um, they are very, very, very good at turning around. And I think we're going to have to use that in order to dodge, again, walls of skill. Some of these ships... Is that the Veloce? Because we've damaged some of them before. And since it's... Like, what, one month? I don't think the AI pulled them back into port, if at all, to repair them. The 10-inch guns on these ships have a substantial range. Almost 30 kilometers with AP. It's just... I don't think we're going to hit much at that range. So let's save some ammo. I don't want to waste shells unnecessarily. 
I just want to try and get rid of a couple of... A, yeah, a couple of these heavy cruisers which have taken a bunch of damage already. Should make them easier to hit as well. It's a very nice side bonus. Range 24. Let's see. That's more wreck than cruiser. Target that one. 3.5%. That's a little better. Let's slow down. Give our guns a bit of time to work. Don't torp anyone. Accuracy is all over the place because we're turning, they're turning. I don't think range has been established yet. Yeah, range has been found. What type of ammo did I give these guys? Right, just HE. Okay, so we're going to go with AP on this. Because I don't think HE is really going to do it. Although, <laughs> they don't need that much more <laughs> convincing to go down. What sort of sensor did I give you? Sonar 2. Alright. 2.5% two chance to hit 3. Ooh, we're taking some damage. My heavy cruisers, though, have a lot of armor. And shouldn't really be taking that much damage. Oh, you're not even in range yet. You are, right? You're not? Who's shooting me, then? Somebody else. 12% chance to hit. But it's not the hits that I'm concerned about. It's the crew losses. <clears throat> Quincy's already looking at 10%. I'll not have cruisers get surrendered to the Italians. Absolutely not. Uh, focus on this and see whatever happens to hit in the meanwhile. Ricochet. Off a DD with AP. Oh, that was a CA. It was not a DD. What? How do we keep ricocheting off of that? Shouldn't these shells have way more punch than that? Torpedo range 15. They're, you're out of range. That's their CA. Hmm. Ooh, that was a decent hit. Damn smoke screens. Well, we're spreading the damage around. That's nice. <clears throat> it's just I need a kill. I don't need all these soft hits. Are they still able to bring the bow, bow turrets to bear? Yeah, the A turret, yes. The B turret, no. Ooh, they're already here. The first of the torpedoes have shown up. If I'm able to call their numbers a little, I'll go in. Provoke a torpedo attack. Constantly zigzag and dodge. And then be able to close the distance more. Pump them full of AP and sink them. The threat of getting peppered with 6-inch guns is currently too great. So that's why i got to reduce the number first. There's simply too many ships around. These have a range of 12. <clears throat> Although, chance to hit me at 12 is limited. Somebody else has better range, though. You got 8.7s. I don't like the amount of ammo that I carry. I think it might not be sufficient. That is a DD. You'll never hit that. We pen the Monarco. Barely. We can maybe pin this, but it's bow on. Ricochet chance is way high. Good hit. Good hit again. And again. Destroy funnel. And again. What? Why are we so accurate? At 18 kilometers out? We got a 35% chance to hit. Whoa. 
Whoops. <clears throat> Wrong target. Okay, the Giuseppe is down. Uh, next is going to be the Veloce. We're going to put the Augusto Riboti under some pressure with the 5 inches. You have launched like a while ago. Come around. <clears throat> Use that turn. These things can turn on a dime. Look at that. Narrowly avoiding each other. There we go. First bit of damage on the Veloce. They too have taken some crew losses. 13% on Rochester now. Oh, sorry, on Quincy. Destroyed the main tower on the Veloce. I have to constantly scan these ships and see if they decided to drop torps in the water. And some of them have. Mizeno has not. I think it's the DDs that have better torpedo range. 24.9? Good lord, that's a lot of range. Torpedo detonation, even. Oh, we're running very, very low. On HE. Flooding? Shit. Turn, Rochester. Quincy, steady as you go. Steady. Okay, come back. Veloce is down. Perfect. It's almost like these ships listen to their rudder too well. They start to overcorrect on the turn. Not ideal. <clears throat> uh, these other heavy cruisers are now starting to get into range. Well, not quite there yet. <clears throat> Let's focus on the Mizano. Rochester still has decent shells left, especially AP. Looks like we're putting some hurt on the C. No, on the DD with the five inches. Very good. I've waited a long time for these cruisers. I quite like the look of them. This is, in case you've never seen these, the type of cruiser, hence the name Voyager, that can, I think, do 112,000 kilometers before refueling. These are the nuclear-powered cruisers. And they're really, really expensive. 300 million. I mean, that's almost twice what the Italians are paying. Pen? Miss. Miss, 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 miss. Hit. Partial pen. Hmm. Oh, good lord. There's a bunch of CLs coming out of the smoke as well. Put the mains on the other cruiser, the one that's already damaged. And pepper it with AP. We've got a pretty decent chance to pen... I think their superstructure is the best target right now. Although, I cannot, of course, target that much. Are you firing AP on the secondaries or something? Don't do that. Use HE. Because that thing had a lot of armor. Yeah. I was shrugging off all the 5-inch high explosive shells. Oh, sorry, 5-inch armor-piercing shells that it was taking. Uh, focus on the Alessandro. No, not with the mains. Not with the mains. Just with the secondaries. Got different weapons for different platforms. Mizeno still hasn't launched. Neither has the Urania. Neither has the... Yeah, oh, the Monarco might have launched. Shit, I missed it. Shit. The Rochester got hit four times. Oh, boy. Sorry, I completely missed it. I was too busy focusing on what my ships were and were not capable of doing. Yeah, there's the next launch. In case you're yelling at the screen, don't worry, I won't hear it anyway. Come on. This DD launched torpedoes a while ago. 
There's some HE left, and I'll be damned if I'm going down with it. Torpedoes outbound from Rochester. 23% buoyancy left. One coming in. These things are really dangerous. 20% lost crew here. 14 here. Come on, get rid of that DD. 36% structural. 35, 30. Oh boy. Walls of skill are back. Quincy, come round. I need to have a battle cruiser that can do this. Oh, Jesus, that's a fast one. Uncomfortable. Considering the amount of ships around, I don't think I'll be able to win this. So that leads me to... Probably try and retreat. Come on, 3%. Take it down. Oh, shit! I missed the torp! Ow! Urania is down. Quincy just took a torpedo hit. Flooding on the bow, otherwise fine. Flooding contained. I can end the battle. It seems a bit cheaty. I'm not shooting me. I'm the one doing the shooting here. So I guess that means I can retreat on my own terms? Is that what the game is saying? Quincy might be able to shield the withdrawal of the Rochester for now. That's all I can ask for. Zeno's closer, actually. Last HE shell from the 10 inchers going out now. Might be able to deal some damage against this ship before we are forced to withdraw. There goes one of the torpedo launchers. Ooh, Gritza. Sorry, Gritzia. Very badly damaged. That's an easy target. Couple of good hits. It ought to be done. Accuracy should be sufficient to take it down. About 8 to 10 percent. Mizena can't launch torpedoes. Monarco can. Turn around. No, not you. You're too badly damaged. Quincy can do it. 9 percent. We're still facing potentially a lot of guns that can melt my crew. I gotta be careful. Ooh, good shot. Quincy, well done. Rochester launches torpedoes. Quincy, just make for best speed and get out. Because the Italians are operating in their pretty much their home turf. You don't have speed on your side. Did they just launch or did they all get destroyed? This thing is going down very quick. Down. That's your torpedo. Um, what the hell? That thing made a 90 degree arc? That was spectacular. And a bit scary. How many shells we got left? 161 on Rochester. 95 on Quincy. Oof. I'm not sure we can take this thing down. Seventy-one percent structural. Sixty-seven. There's gonna have to be structural damage or floodings. Because I don't see any other way of taking this thing down. Fifty-one shells on Quincy. Forty-one percent on the thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty. Make it count, Quincy. You got twenty-seven left. Twenty-three, seventeen. And three salvos were out. <clears throat> Twenty-four percent structural. The Quincy will not be able to take it down. 
least not with the primary armament. Quincy is out of main ammunition. Wow. Well, we made him pay for it. Menorca down to 11% structural integrity. They've lost 90... 39% of their crew. That's going to be the one... That's going to be the way I take it down. Crew loss. You focus on the Padrona. Come on. 40.1. If only you could transfer the shells from the badly damaged Rochester to the Quincy. No, I won't be able to take it down. Might be more of a, you know, psychological warfare issue if I leave them on 7% structural. And the Italians in their harbors watch something like this pull into port. Rochester still dealing damage. Padrona also taking a decent amount of fire. Ooh, they're also on the edge of starting to surrender. 39.5. Oh crap, this is when all the CLs start to show up. 40%. <laughs> That's just a few 5 inches, right? That's the one on the... Yeah, that, 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 that. It's 8 to 5 inches. So basically, I've strapped the DD to the side of this heavy cruiser. 41%, 41.5. Oh, are you going to get it done? Yes, the Monarco is down. Well done to the Rochester. Pretty much with the last shells that she had. 43.3. 45. Come on, you should be surrendering now. Oh shit, we're out of HE. So I'm firing AP and every single shell is getting blocked. Oh, come on. So you're telling me I can't actually take it down? No, I'm not going to try and chase it down. Although, this is too good to let it just limp away. But no, if I overextend and I get the Quincy caught by those light cruisers, I'm going to be dead. Because this can still do a really unhealthy amount of damage to my ship. We're going to pull the Quincy away. We've had enough. Damage dealt is a about four times what I was able to take. Yeah. Definitely a win for the Americans. That's what I'm going with. A win for us. So, 10,000 victory points again for the United States. Versus 115 for the Italians. They've lost a lot of heavy cruisers. Only the Padrona, badly damaged and almost out of crew. And the Ruggiero were able to survive. They did have a couple of light cruisers. I would not be able to take any of those down, but I did get both of their DDs. So, the once proud uh, Italian Navy, well, they lost a lot of ships. This really, really hurt them. Because you cannot take losses like this and replace them very quickly. Not even if you're the AI. There we go. How many ships they got left? Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Northampton, the other Voyager that I sent over here, has arrived. Albeit at some unfortunate timing, because now the Italians are out for blood. And the Northampton might be the target of their choice. I'm going to try and withdraw it. If not possible, you're going to see this one in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more.